Well, how do that, people in the view of us? Tis I, Captain of the Steeds, and today, chums, you can see I'm wearing my protective headwear, which means we're going into the realms of speculation. And why are we going into the realm of speculation? Because Sean Murray has posted his singular emoji, and this emoji is the snowflake emoji, people in the view of us. Let's jump on over and let me show you what I mean by a snowflake emoji. Heck yes, let's jump on over onto the Twitter space. Boom! And there I am on the Twitters. Heck yes, I am. Lovely jubbly. Right, so here's Sean Murray's freaking tweet. He put it out at two minutes to midnight. Yes, snowflake emoji. So, my immediate forms, hmm, snowflakes are fractals. Does that mean Hello Games and Shaun of the Murray are reworking the math and adding in more variety or fractal-based systems like the Realm of Glass? Or are they just improving frost biomes? Because <laughs> that's equally as possible. So like I said, speculation is speculation. Don't set it as expectation. However, Shaun Murray also curiously posted out a... um word on its own just fractal yeah and that was some time ago yeah music uh, games that redefine what games that redefine games what the fudge is he on about that i can't remember what that was in relation to to be honest to be honest to people in the view of us heck no i can't well sean well uh, fractals people in the view of us and snowflakes are fractals so yes the way that they're generated is on sort of fractal sort of math in a roundabout way i mean there's also the golden ratio and other stuff like that that i could go into if i really wanted to but yes this is not a maths freaking video if you want to learn about fractals jump over onto wiki because it talks about them in in more sort of i don't know overviews and whatnot so it goes into deeper sorts of shenanigans if you're really bothered what an actual fractal is or what fractals mean but it's a layer of math now there was the super formula said to be coming into no man's sky but for whatever reason it was removed now a step down from say the super formula would be fractals in fact some people might even say that fractals are actually a step higher than the super formula depending on who you are and where you sort of sit in your math sort of hierarchy but yes, fractals are kind of what govern shapes and things of all sorts of inside of our planet. And a lot of rendering tools use fractal math, like the Mandelbrot set and stuff like that, to generate, and that's the Mandelbrot set there, to generate sort of landscapes and things and give you... Yes, so currently, No Man's Sky uses a uber noise, is a term that... Sean Murray coined himself. Now, I have made a whole play playlist on how No Man's Sky was made. I'll put a link up there because it goes into far more detail. But basically, it's Perlin noise and a load of other noise algorithms layered on top of each other to give the sorts of terrain that we've got. Now, it could just be that they're going to add fractal math into that equation to bring a little bit more variety to the planets. Or it could be that they're really going to go to town with fractal sort of math. Now, there is a game that already does that that looks very much like No Man's Sky and it's called Earth Analog it's been out for a little while now I did actually get it on my Steam account I tried to launch it but for whatever reason it just doesn't want to launch for me but here you go there's some real craziness going on here so here you go let me just um, open this up I'm going to mute the sound just talk over it but yeah I'm going to make it a lot larger as well for you guys if you want to see this this is over on a planet called Atolarog yes and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger but you can see here they're coming across all these sorts of spatial anomalies which are also made out of the fractal math but not only that there are full planets made out of fractals inside of earth analog that you can actually fly down and actually have a better look at so here you go here's him flying over one of the planets right now which is pretty darn freaking epic i mean look at that so you know you're not going to be able to build bases on this freaking thing are you or in the fort anyway and now i'm wondering whether hello games if, if they do go full-on fractal math generation like this how it could be implemented and I'm thinking, we still haven't had the station overrides come into game as yet, have we? Now, if those station overrides do come into game, imagine if they could take the station and warp it into some sort of parallel dimension through some sort of, I don't know, glitch or something. Glitches into another dimension, and then you come across planets that look like this. So you've still got the same planet names that we've got in our own Euclid dimension, but maybe the planets are all fractally generated. That could be quite cool, and that could be the realm of glass. And that could be a very interesting way of them implementing the realm of glass, because it would also look like it's some 
sort of corruption and play into the whole 161616. So although that this is very much a speculation video, people, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, this is way up there in the echelons of my mind of what it could be. I mean, there's a couple of other things it could be that are lower down on that sort of tier of what it could be. And it could just be some cosmetic enhancements. They might be putting in like icebergs or something on the actual frost biomes, or they might be taking frost biomes and adding a lot more variety to them. Like maybe different colored freaking snow would be nice or something, because at the moment the frost worlds are freaking the most dullest of all the biomes. If I, I don't, I don't like landing on frost biomes. Let's just put it that way. I only land there if I want to get a load of freaking glass for a building a base. But I don't even have to do that anymore because I can just change the blinking game mode and build to my heart's content. Anyway, so here we go. I put the actual question to a poll, and uh, yeah. So I've got here. Hmm. Snowflakes are fractals. Does that mean Hello Games are uh, reworking the map and adding in more variety to fractal based systems like the realm of glass, or are they just improving? in frost biomes laugh out loud and then we, i said not seeing what you like let's let's hit up the comments so good shout more variety makes sense 15 percent of people have said yes that makes that, that does make sense fractal map realm of glass would be cool 17 percent i put in there would be cool you know because it's just an idea it's just an idea it's, it's speculation and i i love doing the speculation heck yes i do frost biome overhaul would be be, be, it, be it could be it yeah it could be i mean at the same time there's probably countless others out there that feel the same way as i do about frost biomes uh, you know so maybe they are going to be bringing a bit of love to frost biomes i mean it'd be cool to go in caves on frost worlds and actually see icicles and stuff rather than freaking rock formations hanging from the ceiling and ice dripping down and pools and maybe crystalline caves and maybe getting some higher end resources there you know and have more floating chance of floating crystals on frost biomes or something and you know the runaway mold it makes more sense for those to have a higher chance of spawning on say the fungal world you know maybe they might do a load of rejigging like that and add more sorts of i don't know veined idiom mountains and stuff like they hinted at inside of that uh, leviathan update and then it says here, now nah, something cosmetic nobody asked for. You watch, laugh out loud. 20% of people have hit that up. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it might be a new cape with a snowflake on it. <laughs> Who freaking knows? Or maybe it might be ship trails that actually put out ice particles and snowflakes fly out the back of your jetpack or something. You know, it could be something as simple as that. We might just get a load of freaking emojis or something. You start dancing and a load of snow comes down. Or it might be a firework that when it explodes, a load of freaking snowflakes come down. Wrong time of year for that i don't think it's going to be any of that but you know it could be it i mean we had the telescope emoji dropped last time people and that turned out to be waypoint whereas i thought telescope would be looking at the horizon and maybe bringing in some more sorts of stuff and expeditions to go on and story mode because we're going off on an adventure heck yes we are with our telescope you know i was wrong on that people so you know this is speculation i want to put this across to you i could be wrong you know, there's so many other people speculating out there at the moment of what this might be. But anyways, moving on. New particle effects and dynamic weather. Yes, it could be as simple as that. 35% of people have hit that one up. Which also does make sense because you can see this, you can see weather happening on the same planet. You could be on like, I don't know, a lush planet and you've got yourself typhoons hitting you as well as meteorites coming in and then a giant worm jumps out. And you think, hold on, this is all happening here. You go to a free in frost biome and you get the same weather effects hitching like hold on you know it would make more sense to have a different sort of type of weather on on a frost world maybe rain that turns into shards of glass as it's coming down out the sky or something actually that would make more sense on a hot planet because you need superheat to turn water into glass don't you if it's got any sort of salt in it yeah uh, so yeah but that could be a thing on hot planets is if it does rain why there's a superheated storm you're gonna get glass shards coming at you so it's actually gonna do you physical damage as well as heat damage <laughs> Be freaking insane but yeah there could be all sorts that they could put in i think maybe ice sheets on on um, some of the frost worlds will make sense and adding in the, the um, icicles like i was saying before that could add, that could make sense so if i was to turn down my speculation that's where i'd be if i did turn down my speculation but no i'm sticking with it's fractal math and where will they apply the fractal math i think to the terrain generate generation i have seen other speculation out there saying that it's ship customization or i've seen comments 
comments of people saying that they want ship customization. I know a lot of people want ship customization. I fall into that camp as well. As long as it's done properly, I think it could really work and add an extra dimension of play. You know, picking up crash ships, doing them up and maybe trading them in or uh, getting parts and trying to sell them. Maybe they could be ship vendors and ship actual ship yards and stuff like that where you can take them in and get them appraised. They could add a whole dimension to ship hunting, ship customization and ship reselling and reskinning and all that sort of jazz. It could also let us share blueprints with our mates inside of our squadron so we can all have matching ships, which would be pretty damn nice. Or at least get decals or, or something and add them to our ships. There's all sorts that they could do in ship customization, but I don't think this is going to be the update that brings in ship customization. I, I don't see how the snowflake ties into that. I honestly think, you know, with snowfall, it falls on planet surfaces. You don't get snow in space. It's freaking cold in space, but you don't get snow. But you get snow on planets. So I think this is to do with planet side exploration variation and an overhaul of some of the maths inside of no man's sky because you've got the trailers that say every rock every fish every plant every tree every blade of grass every cloud procedurally generated and i think for them to make that statement true they have to tweak the map a little bit more because at the moment it seems to be noise and it seems to be assets that are created and then placed rather than assets that are procedurally generated so it was like earlier on that wiki page we saw the uh, fractal math and how it actually makes a tree you know so maybe they might apply fractal math to some of their assets to make their actual assets look more interesting and more sort of, uh, oh no, actually I'm on the actual screen, you can't see what I'm trying to point out there, but like this sort of thing. Can I make that bigger? Will it still animate? There we go, like that. So maybe fractal math will be used to generate different sorts of trees. I mean, on some planets, you know, the animation might stop halfway through and then on a, another planet, it's going to go the full hog. So at least it makes every sort of tree and every sort of bush and every asset on a planet feel different or every rock even because you could apply this to rock it doesn't have to just be on flora so hopefully they're going to do some of that is what i'm thinking anyway back on over to the comments so we've got some people here that are saying oh, i like this one titus paul maybe playing hot and cold with the hype train direction well i've been doing that in my videos i've been saying i don't think this is the actual emoji i don't think this is the actual emoji which i said with the heart and i said with the thinking face i actually tried to dial it back and saying i don't think these are the emojis but if they are the emojis this is what it might mean this one is definitely the emoji the snowflake is definitely the emoji i don't think there's anybody that's arguing the toss with this one but i put my videos out there to sort of scale back some of the hype on the last two emojis this one though this one is going completely to hype town and crazy town because i'm wearing my foil cap okay it's been a heck of a ride no real signs half signs and now this like being at a platform told the train is delayed and then it rocks up and it's like well do i get on it is that the right train i'm sure we've all been in that position before <laughs> Yeah, and that's definitely what's been happening because we still haven't got the sales on every platform. We still haven't got the Steam update, the Steam depots updated. At least I don't think we have. We go and have a quick check before we go through those comments, people. Let's go and have a quick look. Bookmarks over here. Boom. Let's open up this. Depots. And no, no change there. The internal one and the experimental one, no change. No change at all over there. And also the sales. You know, the sales, we've only seen them on the PlayStation. We haven't seen them hit Xbox as yet. At least I don't think the sales are on, on Xbox. Let us have a look. No Man's Sky. Uh, Xbox. Boom. Let's have a look see how much. Still 39.99s, mate, before I've clicked into there. So, yeah, it's still full price over on the old Xbox, isn't it? Or at least it looks that way. Yes, 39.99. You can get it for eight freaking quid with Game Pass. So by the no, save eight pounds with Game Pass. All right, fine. I don't really understand Xbox people. But there we go. That, no, the sales aren't across all the boards. So all the signs aren't there. So something that I usually go by is the Quicksilver store and how far into the Quicksilver store um, the actual progress is. And right now there's Johnny Five right here. Let's go and have a little word with Johnny Old Five and let's see the progress of the Quicksilver bar, which is above my head up there. And it's like, what, 35%. That's gone extremely quick for a cape. If you've ever been playing No Man's Sky and you've been unlocking a cape in the past, it goes as slow as a slug in taffy. This one is rocketing along to the point where I think this is definitely probably going to drop before the first of um, March, which is when the sale on PlayStation coincides and ends. So yeah, people in the view of us, I kind of feel that 
we might see an update within the next week or before the 1st of March now, people. Will they coincide it with the PlayStation VR 2 update? They might. It might give them extra work to do when it comes to bug fixing, but then all hands on deck, perhaps. I thought they would put out PlayStation VR 2, do a ro load of bug fixing for PlayStation VR 2, and then give us an update. But they might give us the update at the same time as PlayStation VR 2, and then just sort of knuckle down and fix all bugs at the same time. Because there's bound to be, isn't there, with, with updates. Especially if they're looking to change any of the math, like I think they might. There we go. Cap, respect to the troll option. Because we all know as fans, we're obviously a little upset that certain things still haven't been recognised in the game. Yet after six years of updates, ship customization, diverse procedural wells, and meaningful end game loop. I think it's this one that they're targeting there in your little mini wish list, my friend. The diverse procedural wells, I'm hoping that's what fractal means. Or the snowflake means, which ties into fractals, which ties into Sean Murray's previous tweets and all that sort of shenanigans. So that's what I'm hoping. Anyway, here we go. We also have to take into consideration PSVR 2 in relation. I just hope we get a brand new Expedition 2. I love this game. Well, there's another thing that people have been saying. So, a lot of these emojis, they're not hinting at what's actually in the game. I mean, we did have, like, the robot, and that turned out to be Exomech. We had, like, the little uh, collary thing, and that turned out to be, um, you know, pets or whatever. Or it was a ball of yarn, and that turned out to be pets. So, yeah, there are times where the emoji has directly related to the content that we're going to be getting inside a game. The last emoji being a telescope, rather than it be looking at the horizon and going on an adventure and all that sort of shenanigans, turned out to be Waypoint. So was just looking at a waypoint for a telescope I guess or marking a waypoint using a telescope I mean there are those places where you look for a telescope put 50p in and then you can look around at a waypoint of sorts I guess so yeah so there we are that turned out to be that we also had the orange emoji which turned out to be origins so again the name of the actual update so this could be just the name of an update but what could that be i mean there's not many like update names that coincide with snowflake or rhyme with snowflake giant lake water overhaul <laughs> but then i'm sure he would have found some sort of water emoji if it was going to be that rather than use a snowflake he wouldn't be that cryptic but then again an orange an orange an origins was freaking cryptic so <laughs> you know, I guess it's as good as mine you know update sub zero update Riggin Subnautica. <laughs> Who knows? But there you go. Let's just enjoy the ride. Totally agree. But part of my enjoyment of No Man's Sky is when Sean Murray drops one of these emojis because he loves this little hype train that it gets us all on. And he said it himself. He enjoys the hype. He enjoys the speculation. So, you know... It, it's part of the joy of the community to speculate. I know there's there's a couple of people out there that really put up the brakes on when it comes to speculation because they say it does damage and we've got to be careful with what we put out there when it comes to speculation. But at the same time, I've got to put it out there that No Man's Sky is a procedurally generated universe with potential that is in oodles and buckets and there's still loads that we could speculate on when it comes to loose ends inside of the law inside of the gameplay and they keep adding law in there to keep us speculating like the whole realm of glass and glass 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 they've upped that in the nines over the last few months so they're trying to hint at something at least i think they are but we can never be sure i really wish communication was better but at the same time i love all of this i love all the not knowing I love all the guessing. I love all the speculation. And it's something that I enjoy immensely. And I've been thinking to myself, should I dial this back? Because, you know, there's people out there that are saying that it damages the community and it upsets the game. No, this is something I enjoy. This is what I do. This is who I am. And there's people that have found my channel through that and they like that about me. So no, I'm not going to be putting the brakes on unless I feel that I really need to and when I have to. And in this case, I don't think I need to or have to. In fact, fudge this. I'm taking off my conspiracy freaking tinfoil hat and I'm putting on my freaking normal hat because you know what? I think there's enough evidence in this one with snowflakes being procedurally generated in our own freaking well through fractals and the 
the golden ratio and everything else that comes into quantum freaking physics, I'd like to hope that this is a physics and sort of generation and procedural math overhaul. And I think there's evidence for that in this one emoji. Am I reading into it too much? Yes, but it's through logic and speculation combined. Boom! So there we go. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's carry on down. P1 stream. Wasn't ice a thing named in game files some updates ago? Might be a world of ice like glass. Yes, a world of yes, definitely. That that that'd be freaking epic, wouldn't it? I mean, they have been doing so much with reflections and see-through sorts of textures inside of No Man's Sky. They could be adding in some sort of new gnarly sort of planet or biome. That could be cool, couldn't it? Like a glass biome. Maybe we'll be able to add an igloo or buy some snow cones. What's it? Okay. <laughs> hype train says Christopher. I guess I think we've covered the hype train enough. Winter is coming. The new biome. My home is Game of Thrones planets where they talk in northern accents and cut your head off with a sword and then <laughs> if you eat their chicken. Beardy blokes will wander around knowing nothing and scantily dressed bins on dragons will slowly go mental. Fun times. <laughs> Voltin, that could be their next ambitious project. You could have just hit the nail on the freaking head, Voltin. <laughs> I want to see the fractals. Oh girls, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Fresh sauce, new paint and end of seasons. Mm. Okay. Yes, end of seasons. Maybe, maybe they might be topping stuff off. I don't know. The Viking and pirates will start referring to others as snowflake. You know what? My video that I put out last night, because I put a snowflake inside of the title, it got flagged by YouTube's algorithm that I might be, you know, inciting something. And uh, the monetization on that one is now orange. <laughs> so, yeah, word to the wise people in the viewerverse: if you're making content for No Man's Sky, don't put the snowflake emoji in your title because you won't get it monetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my next this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn from that. Okay, three and four is my guess. Nice one, Jundi and Colio. Okay, what was what was options three and four? I forgot. Okay, yeah, a frost biome or something com cosmetic. It could be that, Jundi. It could be. Yes. Uh, and please fix ocean renderings, Sean. There are quite a lot of uh, mods in the universe that do a very good job of that. And yes, you kind of think, well, if the modding community can do it, then surely Hello Games could. But you know. Will it tax something else? I don't know. Fractal meth! <laughs> simply stating that it's cold where he is. Oh, he, he's simply saying it's cold where he is. I don't know whether he's still in the UK, because most of his tweets that he does is like midnight or something mental. Has he gone to a hotter climate? Is he sunning himself? He deserves it, let's face it. Multi-biome planets? It could be multi-biome planets. That could be kind of nice. Glass, 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 glass. Mike UK, free likes. Yes, I'd give you an extra one, because that's kind of where I've, I'm sitting with that. I think glass, glass, glass. I saw over the realm of glass, or the doing something with the math of the planets is what I think anyway so I'm, I'm in the first two options on my poll there people so, so I believe No Man's Sky is a unique update. Everything is getting overhauled to look better, including planets, ship customization, multi-tool customization, more alien races, more No Man's Sky to enjoy. Animals need to be more unique too. Far too many things look the same. The game needs a overhaul on pretty much everything. Players see in the game. Poise are big on one more on variety. Different places you can visit. And weather should be more unique. Planets should have more unique biomes as well. Yes, and that's tricky for you to TV. You know what, mate? Yeah, I kind of agree with all of that. The only thing is, I don't know whether they're going to deliver all of that in this one update and whether Snowflake can coincide to all of those things. But you could be right. It could be a massive, great, big freaking overhaul of everything, couldn't it? Especially if they are going to be uh, tweaking the terrain generation or whatever. A tweak to particle effects every update besides everything else. Yeah, it could be that, couldn't it? Lake of Rot from freaking Elden Ring. I hated the Lake of Rot and Elden Ring. Yes. Okay, space station overhaul. Uh, we've already had one, but it would be nice to have another and maybe st space station ownership, which has come from a lot of the speculation around these station overrides. And are we actually going to get them inside of this update? Who knows? Go on. PSVR 2, complete VR overhaul for all platforms. Storm effects, a visual overhaul. Hmm, okay, yep. Here we go, Mike UK. Jim Official is getting very salty towards you, Steve. Jason and Cynical. He's making cartoons over on his channel mocking you all. 
Yes. Well, you know, I've had a little dig back in this video, and that's that's why. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's um, it sucks, doesn't it? To be honest, it really does. But I, I kind of feel that it's yeah, pretty low. I think the com community knows it's out of jealousy and spite, rather than having any substance. So I just think that it's a very dry period inside of No Man's Sky, and I just feel they're trying to stir up a bit of drama there, just to get things going for their channels. Yeah, they say that we're clickbaiting, trying to get views and subs from um, you know speculating and putting out ideas and trying to be positive about things and building hype. Yeah they've gone the other way they're building negativity and drama to get clicks and likes and subs i know which content creators i would rather support yes so there we go people in the viewer verse a snowflake meteorologically represents type of cold weather snow in the game and it's an icon for the cold hazard protection modules it could be a derelict freighter overhaul or expedition since they are too are so cold those are likely possibilities snowflakes being unique might be something or nothing at all very good point heck yes that is so yes inside of game at the moment we've got hazard protection units that use that as a symbol and you also see it inside of derelict freighters so what admiral loner walls is saying there is maybe it's those elements of the game that are going to get tweaked I mean, the derelict freighters, that kind of makes sense, because we've had a freighter overhaul recently. They could revamp all of those. That could be nice. They could do something with the hazard protection and having the biomes that are, are set with whatever they do to the actual bars. It's like you land on one frost world that's super cold, and your bars are going down at a steady rate. You land on a, an even, even colder planet, and they're still going down at the same rate until an extreme storm hits. But then again, it's still the same rate in every extreme storm. Maybe they might be tweaking all of the hazard protection modules that's a very good shout yes to add a little bit of extra immersion which will go quite nicely with the playstation vr2 type stuff mm, i'm liking that idea didn't think of it myself a very nice idea nice bit of speculation there mate using logic too i like it none of the above fix the darn bugs first and then new stuff says owen richards yes good shout one eye no two snowflakes are alike. Considering the nightmare that was 4.0 and the fact that the game has been dying badly, my guess is ship customization. It's the only thing that could really save us at this point. And then it, there's a couple of people that waded in on that. <laughs> Yeah, there, are, there is quite a, a ship hunting community out there. Unless you go into the ways and means of adding in ship customization, there's going to be a bit of healthy debate there. So, yeah. Snow is frozen water. Waterfalls confirmed, says your mum's a hoe. <laughs> she isn't. My mum's lovely. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, people, I think that draws us to the close on the actual comments and everything that's going out there inside of the actual verse, peeps, which is pretty damn freaking funny. And uh, yes, yes, I love this point in time in the community. Even when you do get your naysayers and the people that are saying, yeah, there's definitely not going to be an update. And then as soon as the emoji drops, they sort of backpedal like freaking crazy. Yeah, OK, I'm going to be putting cold in the freaking hype, engine, hype train myself, mate. There we go. Yeah. But then they are sort of saying that maybe this snow Snowflake just means it's Sean Murray telling us to chill out and there's nothing coming inside of this update. Just chill out. It's just the PlayStation VR 2 update. But then, you know, they did kind of... Well, he did do that with a freaking telescope, didn't he? I mean, the telescope was Waypoint. So this one could be fridges <laughs> it could be freaking sub-zero it could be oh it could be anything it could be anything so you know the naysayers even have a point at this point in time so until we actually see the update we don't know who's right we don't know who's wrong so there's no point in getting out a giant drum and saying boom 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 look at my idea my idea's got more chance than any other idea no i don't i think every idea has got equal plausibility um, apart from maybe the, the Snowdrop engine being used and picked up by Sean of the Murrays and Hello Games, because Sean of the Murray, and he's even said inside of that playlist that I was going to put in the top right-hand corner, the making of No Man's Sky, is that he's proud, he's proud to create his own engine and not use other engines. He came from the likes of EA and big sort of company houses that made like the likes of Black and um, Burnout and all that sort of shenanigans, which are games that he actually helped work on. And he said, you know, it's all right using the same generic engine but then that same generic engine is always going to give you the same generic games and they wanted to make their own engine bespoke for No Man's Sky to give it that sort of feel and they want their own studio to have their own engine and you know what UBI Soft 
they use their own engine. Their own engine is the Snowdrop engine. And as good as it is, I still don't think it's as good as the Unreal 5 engine. And I, I haven't seen other games companies use the um, Snowdrop engine. I know that Disney, I mean, uh, Nintendo used it to make the Rabid Rabbits or whatever it was. But um, yeah, it depends if they're publishing it for UBI. It still fell under the UBI umbrella, didn't it? So there we are. That's my sorts of feelings on it. I don't think it's going to be a whole new freaking engine. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be an addition to their terrain generation with inside of their engine, an enhancement to their engine. If there was some sort of Snowdrop plugin or enhancement like ha Havoc, you know, then yes, there could be legs in that. But otherwise, no, I don't think it's going to be that. I think it might be an improvement to their own internal engine. Um, could it parry off of or be as good as Snowdrop? It has every potential to be. It does. Um, I mean, they could use some sort of Lumen plugin or some sort of, I don't know, other sorts of plugins that increase the, the rendering of light and stuff, you know, the ray tracing elements, rather than use these clever shaders that they've used. Maybe they might be bringing in some proper ray tracing. But how do you tie that to a snowflake? I think snowflakes, fractal math. That's what I think when I think of a snowflake. Uh, yeah, I also think they're freaking cold. But how are they generated? Because we've got to think we're in a procedurally generated game. So I think this has got something to do with the engine, something to do with the uh, fractal math, and something to do with terrain generation and making things feel unique. Because every snowflake is unique. And in every trailer, they always say every atom, every rock, every fish, every tree, every blade of glass, every cloud. I think they're trying to make that statement feel a little bit more true and resonate with the player base a little bit more because every time I see that inside the trailers I'm always like oh that's still a kick in the freaking shins isn't it you know I still want to see the freaking trailer but that I'm like oh you better be delivering some of that inside of this update and then when they don't or they dial it down and it's more biome based like Origins I mean I loved Origins don't get me wrong but at the same time it's it's a far freaking cry from everything is procedurally generated anyway i don't want to turn this into a rant video i want to keep this upbeat i want to keep this in the realms of the hype and fuel that train because we've now got an emoji which means we are getting an update and i don't have to hold back on the old speculation do i so there you go people inside of the view of us that's my take on all of this and i hope you've enjoyed this video and um yeah my tea's got freaking cold because i've been chatting freaking so much Oh, it's still warm. Right, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to finish this off. Take care, people. Goodbye, goodbye. Enjoy your weekend. And goodbye again.